Residents of Indian Walk and Sixth Company Maruga staged a fiery protest today, hoping to draw attention to problems plaguing the community. Their main top of concern, deplorable road conditions in the area. Dion Batiste has more in this report. Residents of Indian Walk Maruga say no work has been done on the roadway since September of last year, making it increasingly difficult for them to get in and out of the area. They say they are fed up of being treated like second-class citizens and they want the authorities to treat with the issue as a matter of urgency. On the road, only promising us and telling us they're going to fix the road, they're going to fix it and up to this time we are getting nothing do. Taxi fares going up, the um, people are getting sick and we car tires, everything and we can't take it again no more. This morning we started a protest in Indian Walk and Perryong Junction, we block it there and Ramdani Junction and the police and them come and they're taking up the tires and thing and they're um, taking up the stuff and putting it, putting it in the van and going with it and they're trying to out the fire. So what happens if their cries for help are ignored? We're going to take further action against it. Too much of young children and people getting sick with heart attack, asthma attack and everything. I'm a diabetic and I study to run to the hospital all the time to get treatment for the um, wheezing in the road, the asthma. The dust on the road right now affecting us real bad. And we can't do nothing and the police giving us a hard time. Mr. Singh said MP for the area, Minister Lovell Francis, visited the area briefly this morning but did not appear to sympathize with the residents' plight. OWTU President General Ansel Roger was present at Thursday's protest. He accused the government of taking the residents of Maruga for granted. And they feel that they can do you anything, anyhow. And the people who have the wherewithal, the poor, they're not prioritizing you as any um, body important to get your road and your infrastructure fixed. I mean, the issue of, of children accessing school, people going to work, you already have a problem getting jobs. To be living in this press area where the land falling apart, no drainage, and so on, it makes the thing even worse. Mr. Roger said the OWTU will not sit idly by while citizens are repressed and treated with disrespect. He said the Oilfield Workers' Trade Union will work tirelessly to represent the concerns of all citizens. Dion Batiste, C News.